Welcome to this introduction to the Lighting Application Suite. In this video we will show you the basic principles and concepts of this core application in the Traxon EQ architecture. Here now in theory, later videos will demonstrate the practical use of this software system. The content of this video is, at first a functional overview, how the design and implementation cycle looks like, how you can set up your network and your engines that are used in your application and how to create the show. With creating the show you also need testing and previewing and you can use a lot of wizards and tools for rapid development of shows and applications. A special chapter is the show creation with the live FX module and for creating timeline and media oriented applications we'll have a look at the sequencer and emotion FX. The lighting application suite is a set of tools which leads you through the whole process from designing over implementing to testing and in the end running lighting applications. Usually you first set up your ENET network with all the components like engines, user terminals or fixtures. You can create shows either based on the concept of queue lists or you can use timeline related shows where usually media content is played and interacting. For fast development of shows you can use wizards and effect engines. You can automate and control your show with triggers. Triggers can come from time or date or even time of day like sunrise or sunset. It can be events like incoming data from other systems or user interactions over terminals or even system conditions. With the preview tools you can test and verify your show before running it. And the integrated media players help you to embed video and audio content. With the motion effects you can do media sequencing, especially for LED media like media walls. And the integrated audio DSP helps you to create sound to light applications. The action pad is a graphical end user interface which is used for user interactions where no access to the programming environment of the lighting application suite is necessary. Let us first have a look on the general architecture of a Traxon EQ application. The core control element of such an application is a lighting server, in this case a lighting control engine MX. This control engine controls all fixtures and all elements and the application. The connected terminal is used to control or to program the system. Output to the DMX world is realized via a butler which has an ENET interface on one side and two DMX universes on the other side. Another possible interface to the DMX and RDM world is the Butler XT2 and this has not only two DMX outputs, it also has dry contacts, it has RS232 interface and it has the eBus interface which is a very simple two-wire interface to connect user terminals or interfaces like the eBus input module which has dry contacts and interfaces to lighting and motion sensors. To connect other fixtures which are not DMX based we have several other boxes like for example the DMX to DALI. The DMX to DALI realizes from the DMX world an interface into the DALI world. Fixtures which are not DMX based and are for example current or voltage based can be controlled with the DMX to PWM or other interfaces. The MOXA boxes realize an interface into the analog and digital I.O. world. Analog interfaces could be for example the 10 volt control, could be interfaces to building management systems or to other sensoring systems. The whole control of the system is not only possible with a direct connected interface like the monitor and a keyboard, you can have also a web-based interface with the action pad. And this web-based interface 
is now able to control the whole show running on remote PCs with web browser or you can use even iOS and Android remote devices with a wireless LAN to control your show. The functional principles behind this architecture are two kind of messages. Either failure messages which set the value of a master and a master is a linear control which controls linear values like intensity of a fixture or for example an effect speed. The other message type are key messages and key messages trigger an action. An action could be to play or stop a cue list or to play media or to start or to stop the sequencer. And these fader messages and key messages can come for example from user terminals. When pressing a button on the user terminals a key message is created which triggers an action. Other interfaces also create fader messages and key messages, for example the EVOS input module. A key message would be closing or opening a dry contact and a fader message would be created from, for example, the lighting sensor. And also the action pad works with fader messages and key messages. Pressing a button on the action pad will create a trigger and will lead to an action. And a fader message created by faders on the action pad can set versatile masters, the grandmaster or submaster to create an intensity effect, to control a speed or to control other linear values. The design and implementation cycle also leads us to the single components of the lighting application suite. The programmer is the very central element in this software suite. It is used for configuring the network, for configuring all the devices in the project and in the end creating and testing the show, including effects, video to pixel mapping, sequencing and cue list generation. The patchler is a tool to make a logical description of your project. Here you place your devices and your fixtures in an area and create a patch file which is then imported in the programmer to realize the projects with the real fixtures. The fixtures that are used in the patchler can be created and edited with the library editor. The library editor already has a huge library of fixtures from many many vendors but you can also create your own fixtures. Imagine is a tool for a simulation of your project or your show in 2D or 3D. You can preview your show with the real representation of your project. Emotion FX is a sequencing tool for images, videos and text, including effects and transitions. And the toolbox helps to configure the whole lighting application suite and to control its parameters. This design and implementation cycle is nearly the same in all projects. The first step would be to create user-defined fixtures and tiles with the library editor. If you don't use user-defined fixtures and if you use only elements from the predefined library, you don't need this step. In the patchler now you create a project description. You place your fixtures in an area and you define how they are connected and to which DMX universes they are assigned and so on and so on. You can also test the configuration of your project and the fixture configuration. With the resulting patch file you go to the programmer and import with this patch file the complete design of your project. You then create the show, use the effects and place videos or pictures you set the timing, you create cue lists and whatever you need to realize your show. And in the programmer with preview and imagine you can test the design and have a look how your project or your show looks like. Also with the programmer you can export shows and configurations to standalone engines like the Butler XT2 
if your project runs without a server and only with a standalone engine. And also with the programmer you can maintain and adapt your show or make modifications later. And this is usually a cycle function where you have the usual way of maintaining, correcting, adapting and testing shows. The first tool you would use to create your project or your application is the patcheler. The patcheler is used to model your application, how fixtures are used, how they are placed and how they are connected. You have a fixture library with a lot of predefined fixtures and if you don't find your fixtures that it used in your project, you can define your own user-defined fixture. You place then the fixtures and you define the physical size of the installation. So you build a representation of all fixtures used in your project. You can also control DMX addresses and universes for the fixtures. You can test and verify the installation in the patcheller. And for this you connect fixtures via engines and you can test the real fixtures. You can switch on single LEDs or switch them off or can light up in various colors. And this is for example for testing the set addressing of the fixtures in reality. So it is a very easy tool for creating lighting installations. You can include your own fixtures in the library if they are not already available. And it supports 3D modeling by projection. And you can do an offline and online testing of the so-called patched configuration. It supports not only configuration with the Butler family, but you can also set up configuration for the video microconverter. With the library editor you can create your own fixtures or fixture types. If you don't use, for example, components from Trax and EQ or from other big and commonly used vendors. With the library editor you create user-defined fixtures and uh, you define the DMX features and the mapping of channels, you define the electrical values, you define the mechanical values and you define layout properties of your fixture. And this is not only limited to LED standard fixtures, but you can use it for nearly every lighting equipment that you use. And you can even build tiles from basic fixture type, example from a LED to a media wall. There is already a built-in huge fixture library in the library editor that is then later used in the patch lab. So you define all your third-party fixtures for your application in the lighting application suite. You have separated predefined and user libraries, which are merged later when using the library, for example in the patch lab. And from a single LED to huge LED metric systems like MASH, you can build any fixture type you want. And this includes also head walls, beamers, paths or moving heads, every lighting equipment that is connected via DMX. The programmer is the heart of the lighting application suite. It is the core application which is used to set up and control your network where you can see the status and the state of the entire system. You usually import a patch which you have created with the patcheler and you control the mapping of the fixtures. You then create queues and maintain queue lists if you are working with this type of application. And the programmer is also the control application for other elements around like the action pad or the sequencer. If you don't use a server for executing the application, you can export shows with a programmer to standalone engines like the Butler XT2. It is a single point of view for design, development, test and execution of shows. You have lots of wizard and tools to create your shows and you can use other tools in the programmer visualizing and testing your application. And you can use the programmer for any application from stage to creating shows on media facades. You have possibilities to work with queue lists, you can use timelines, you can use timecode, 
You can use events like time, date or terminal control to control your show in the programmer. In the programmer you set up the application, for example, which application networks are used and which protocols are used. You can configure the drivers and servers in your setup and you have the possibility to configure your engines and other devices in the programmer. You can integrate and configure devices in the programmer and it is possible to discover devices, engines and other elements automatically. It is a single point of control and configuration and you need only very basic Windows knowledge to use it. And there are also possibilities to shorten your work. The program of use allows complete fixture control. You can select single or all fixtures and you can select fixtures as patterns. You can then assign effects to the selected fixtures and you can group fixtures to make your life easier. You can set intensity to fixtures either fixed values or fader like or you can use a color picker for color selections on the fixtures. You can also execute eScript commands directly from the programmer and you can set various viewing options for your project. It is a tool for very easy and powerful handling of all your fixtures in a project and all colors and settings are reachable with only a few clicks. You have a compact view of your lighting application. In the programmer you can see your network, you can see your engines and you can see your devices. You can set up and configure them, you can see the system status and which output rates are running. You can control drivers and you can also see system parameters, for example the system load at the current moment. You can see which frame rates are running on the fixtures and you also see values of sunrise and sunset calculations. So you have a central control of network engines and devices and you can set up and configure your whole shows in tapped windows. You can also see time code sources, you can enable and disable triggers and you can also enable and disable network output. There's also a logbook in the programmer view where you can see everything that's going on in the systems. You can see the log entries for all or for a single device and you can even retrieve news from news from social media. So you have all system messages and error messages in one window and you can select how deep you want to see the logbook. And you have a direct connection to social media for EQ news and changes. The programmer supports two types of show control. One type is via queue lists. Queue lists are collections, sequences of queues. And queues are kind of snapshots of the current state of your lighting equipment, which is intensity and color. These queues together are collected in a queue list and when the queue list gets played, one queue is played at a given time frame, usually with a fade in and a fade out time. The other type of control is a timeline. In a timeline you place videos or images or scroll text in a timeline and when the show gets executed then the single elements in the timeline gets started or displayed. So queue lists are very basic control sequence type and they have a very long history. So setting up the light conditions and saving them into a queue creates queue lists. You can define the properties of the recorded queues, for example, how fast they get fade in or faded out, or you can define if they are displayed in a time frame, automatic manner, or if the change of queues is triggered by external sources. You can assign additional actions to queues, for example, in a queue you can start another queue list or you can send MIDI data or RS-232 data over interfaces and much more. We'll see more about actions on one of the next slides. You can also define properties of a queue list. For example, you can assign a master to control intensity 
or you can assign a master to control a possible effect. Special parameters are available, for example, when you use not only LED fixtures, but if you're using beamers or head wash type equipment. So cue lists are a very basic control structure, but they are in fact very flexible. You can assign additional actions to trigger things and activities in your system. And you can assign masters and submasters to allow control of intensity and many other things. Action and triggers are a very important concept in the programmer. A trigger is caused by everything that happens internally or externally. A trigger can be created by events, by signals or by user interaction, for example, if the user presses a certain button on the action pad, then a trigger is created. Or if the timer signals that it is uh, sunrise or sunset, everything this creates a trigger. And this trigger leads then to an action. An action can be start a cue list or stop a cue list. Uh, an action can be start the media player number one or stop the media player number one or even send out RS-232 data or send data out via TCP IP. And this way of using triggers and actions is not only the way for automating the program of an unmonitored operation, it's also the usual way you set up your show and what is happening in your show. Visualization becomes handy and necessary when developing applications to preview how your show will look on your fixtures. One of these tools is the preview window. And it allows not only a preview of your show, it also allows to select fixtures in the programmer view and you can change the patch settings for your show. The second tool is Imagine, which shows many more details compared to preview window and is a network-based connection to the programmer. It is a standalone tool controlled by the programmer. You can not only view your show on the fixtures, you can also set your own user backgrounds. LiveFX is a very powerful tool that comes with the programmer. And with LiveFX you can create stunning effects on fixtures by using algorithms like sinus, cosinus or other functions. You can even use the audio DSP to create effects. And effects are then moving patterns, moving pictures on the fixtures. You can distribute these functions by mapping, by rotating, by mirroring or grouping. And for example, the little picture you see here in the right side of the window on the program of view this is created with live effects. You can then save this effect as a template or you can use predefined templates that come with the programmer. And you can save this effect in a queue list to export it to engines. When you have now created your lighting application you need an end user interface for it because the programmer view is much too complex to be handled by, for example, an operator in a hotel or in a retail store. And the action pad provides a graphical user interface with buttons and faders and nothing else. And with these buttons and faders, together with a background image, the end user can operate the programmer. You can define various command and access levels. For example, you can decide if the operator is able to shut down the system or not. You can have a multi-page layout with various pages for various applications or various areas in the application. And this action pad is accessible from web browsers and also from remote devices. Remote devices can be, for example, an iPad or an iPhone, or it can be an Android tablet or an Android smartphone. So you have state-of-the-art control technology and design and connected to the programmer via a wireless LAN connection gives you maximum mobility for operating the programmer. You have support for page groups to group pages together for various devices and you can 
have an orientation lock to have a single view of your application. If you want to program very complex media-based timeline applications, the Sequencer and EmotionFX are the right tools for that. The Sequencer itself provides timeline-based sequencing. In a simple form, you have a timeline and you can place actions as programmer actions in the timeline so they get executed over the timeline. You can also have a video track as a timeline base and then now placing actions to trigger programmer actions over the timeline and over the video which allows very precise and accurate execution of programmer functions in relationship to a video. Really powerful gets the whole story if using the sequencer with Emotion FX. Emotion FX is a video sequencing and display and mixing tool. You can import media to the media pool in the sequencer. These media can be images or videos. And you can adjust all properties for media, for effect and for actions in this pool and the control area below. You now place media from the media pool in the media tracks or media layers by a simple drag and drop functions. The preview of the media pool content or of a track is possible with a media preview window. And Emotion FX then displays the result in full screen or as a channel preview. You have a timeline and time cursor control in the upper part of the sequencer. You can use transition effects for media tracks like blind, box, fade, wipe, etc. etc. You can apply effects to media layers like blur, sharpen and anything else. You can adjust the X, Y, Z position of elements in the tracks. You can scale, rotate or, rows, or use alpha blending. And you can also place additionally actions in the action track to execute programmer actions. You can control parameters with masters or you can control the sequencer via eScript. Moving the timeline cursor, you can see how the current situation in the timeline-based mix is. You have, of course, player control in the upper part of the window. So you have the possibility with EmotionFX to create complex media sequencing, for example, to monitors or to media walls. And it also includes color corrections and scaling and multi-monitor support. We already mentioned eScript in various places here. And eScript is a programming language which you can use to extend the programmer with macros. And these macros can realize calculations or functions in the programmer that are not already available. eScript has a C-like syntax and comes with a huge library with classes and functions to control or access the programmer, the sequencer, action pad, and so on and so on. You also have an online reference and these eScript macros are interpreted macros, so they can be edited and run. They are fully integrated in the functional logic of the programmer and can be started, for example, by triggers or by hand. You have full access to all interfaces like MIDI or DMX, so you have the choice of creating nearly unlimited functional extensions to the programmer with access to all programmer features. This is a little example of, of an eScript macro and you see it looks like a C program. Usually eScript macros are used in a state machine. So a trigger comes, an eScript macro gets executed and leads to another state in the programmer. Finally, just listing features of the programmer and the lighting application suite. There are wizards for generating automatic content. This serves for testing or for creating shows from bitmaps or videos. The device manager gives you a flexible and powerful overview of drivers 
and the connected devices. You can export shows to DMX engines like Butler, Butler XT or Butler XT2 for standalone replay of queue lists. You have full RDM support in the programmer. The show protection helps to protect your intellectual properties. If you have programmed a show, created a show, you can protect this show from modification. There's an HTTP client driver in the programmer so you can exchange data with HTTP servers. You can have DMX power put to all current and earlier EQ devices and also to Artnet and Knet devices. You can have DMX input from, for example, EQXR Plus or from the LCDMX inputs. You have access to all standard interfaces from RS232 over MIDI to our USB and video grabber interfaces. The programmer supports all open protocols like DMX, TCP, UDP, HTTP, up to PGLink. The control of eBus devices, fader units, web browsers was already shown on the previous slides. You can even realize functions we, which are not obvious at the first sight. For example, controlling the programmer with PowerPoint from Microsoft. Create a Microsoft PowerPoint slide with a button and connect a PowerPoint macro to this button, sending over HTTP a command to the programmer, starting a queue list. Let us have a little summary here of the lighting application suit. It allows you to create very complex shows with graphics, with videos, with media, using uh, either queue list control or using timeline control. And with the motion FX you can do video mixing and video sequencing. With live FX you can create surprising shows and surprising effects on fixtures. And the action pad serves as an end user interface as a graphical end-user interface with a defined access to the whole system. The triggering allows automation and control of the programmer in various ways from time, date, input, output or events in the system. And with a sequence you can also program very precise scenes uh, related to, for example, a video. You can configure one-to-one -one pixel mapping of video content with EmotionFX. You can preview lighting applications with Imagine. And you can arrange with a patchula the lighting fixtures in your project plan. You can protect your intellectual properties when you have created a show or an application. You can protect it from visibility or modification. You have the full remote device management available in the programmer. You can select standard fixtures for using in the fixture library or you can create your own fixtures. You can organize and group them and use a sequencer to compose even video shows. And you can have with other features the same lighting deck features on a PC as you had before. Use the color picker for quick color selection either on the action pad or when setting colors or fixtures as cues. You can create animation with wizards and you can program time and date triggers. You can customize glass touch user terminals and you can control a large number of DMX channels as a default, default 128 DMX universes and with DMX output over EmotionFX up to 500 DMX universes. You can import video content or various formats and you can even use external sources like for example cameras to be used in the sequencer and Emotion FX as live video feed. To extend the programmer with functions especially for your application you can use the eScript scripting language. You can integrate input and output signals for triggering you can use two media players for simultaneous playback. You can orchestrate a uh, sound to light application with the audio DSP. 
And if you want to see more and have the latest news, please have a look at our blog. Thanks a lot and see you later.